That's what's got to be in it. What? The Capitol Dome. On paper? I want to make that come to life for every boy in this land. Yes, and all light it up like that, too. You see, you see, boys forget what their country means by just reading the land of the free in history books. When they get to be men, they forget even more. Liberty is too precious a thing to be buried in books, Miss Saunders. Men should hold it up in front of them every single day of their lives and say, I'm free to think and to speak. My ancestors couldn't, I can. And my children will. Boys ought to grow up remembering that. And, and that, that steering committee or whatever it is, they've got to see it like that. And I know Senator Payne will do all he can to help me because he's a wonderful man, isn't he, Miss Saunders? You know, he knew my father very well. He did? Yeah. Yeah, we need a lot more like him. His kind of character, his ideals. Um, let's get on with this. Hmm? Oh, yes. All right. This camp is going to be out in your state. About 200 of the most beautiful acres that ever were. You've never been out in that country, have you, Miss Saunders? No. I've been over every single foot of it. You could have no idea. You just have to see it for yourself. I don't know. The prairies and wind leaning on the tall grass and lazy streams down in the meadows, angry little midgets of water up in the mountains, cattle moving down the slope against the sun, campfires and snowdrifts. You know, everybody ought to have some of that sometime in his life. My dad had the right idea. He had it all worked out. He used to say to me, son, don't miss the wonders that surround you. Because every tree, every rock, every anthill, every star is filled with the wonders of nature. And he used to say to me, have you ever noticed how grateful you are to see daylight again after coming through a long, dark tunnel? Well, he'd say, always try to see life around you as if you've just come out of a tunnel.